Good morning, folks. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, behind me, I've got uh, a brand new 2023 Dutch Star I wanted to showcase today. And uh, for those of you that maybe are wanting to um, upgrade to a little bit larger motorhome, go into a diesel pusher, or maybe you want to downgrade from your larger motorhome, I've got a 3717 floor plan behind me here. Um, it's about 37 feet, 11 inches overall length. Um, and for those of you that are wanting to know height at ride height, it's about 13 feet, just over 13 feet at ride height. Um, well, why don't we walk around this and uh, uh, just to get started here, this is going to be on our website, stock number 5N220644. We'll start over on this side here and kind of show you the, I've got the generator compartment open at the moment. Um, this does, this 37 foot motorhome does come with a Onan 8,000 watt diesel generator. Uh, that'll power all the, the house electronics, TVs, You've got two 15,000 BTU air conditioners, convection microwave oven, induction, we'll go over all that when we get to the inside. But also as you're in this compartment here, um, you can see how it's easy to access, like your windshield wiper fluid there. Um, uh, the, uh, the oil filter on the generator is going to be located here. That little red handle on the side there is, it's got a hot water line in this generator compartment area. After a long road trip, you want to spray all the nasty bugs off the front of the coach. You can hook up a hose to it there and spray off the coach, makes it easier for cleanup. Um, also around on this side here, it's access to the hydraulics. This, ha this does have um, automatic hydraulic leveling system as well as uh, there's three uh, hydraulic slides on this floor plan. And there's a total of four slides actually. When we go in there, we'll run the slides up, but it's just gonna be easier to show you all the compartments and everything with the slides in. And then when we get on the inside, we'll see how much room there is to walk going in and out of the coach. <clears throat> um, coming down on this side of the coach here, uh, you've got you can see right here, we've got the little bullet camera. So this does have side cameras. And then down below here, we've got an exhaust. That's on the gener That's gonna be the exhaust for the 8,000 watt diesel generator. And in this compartment here, it's gonna be where a lot of your, your, your harnesses and fuses, wiring harnesses for the Freightliner chassis um, are located. This, this, the 37 foot Dutch Star motorhomes all are built on the on the Freightliner L9. So it's an 8.9 liter, 450 horsepower. So the power to rate weight ratio is really great on this. You've got 1,250 pound foot of torque with an 8.9 liter, 450 horsepower. Also, um, Freightliner is going to provide you with this, uh, the um, 60 degree wheel cut, um, and this suspension here is independent. So you've got ind independent suspension on a Freightliner chassis. Um, also up in this compartment, you've got the pull handle. Let's kind of show you where that's located. So that you pull this here to release the hood latch on the front to access the generator compartment. <clears throat> New for 2023. Uh, you noticed when I shut this door, it's not fighting me as much. A lot of some of your older ones, they redid these seals here. So these seals allow for these doors to close and open much easier. Um, Another thing you'll notice up top here, we've got the bonded window, a lot, a lot like your, your higher end Newmar Motorhomes. Um, this is by a company called Fresco Windows. Uh, it has a power window here. These are dual paned, really gives it a clean, nice look. <clears throat> Coming down the line here, we've got uh, dual fuel fills. So this does have a hundred gallon fuel tank. This is where you fill with your diesel and you do that on both sides of the motorhome. And we've got some docking lights, daytime running lights gonna be there. In this compartment here, this, this did come equipped with the optional um, all electric with induction cooktop 2800 watt pure sign inverter with eight AGM batteries on a slide tray here. Coming down this way here, we've got access to storage and if you can see it goes all the way through it's kind of the back end of the slide tray when we get to the other end we've got the oasis hydronic heating system it is a little colder out today this is running so this is keeping the heat 
going inside. Uh, there's two electric elements in the Oasis hydronic heat system um, that will provide you can if you're plugged into 50 amp service or 30 amp service you can you can operate those electric elements and not the fuel if you're just trying to heat the coach. Um, but uh, that if you're wanting to use the continuous hot water feature on it and you want to flip that burner on it does give you that constant hot water feature as well. <clears throat> Next bay down got the dump station so you got a whole house water filtration system here um, it does come with the RV SantaCon so this is going to be for uh, the, the macerator pump down below here so that grinds up your solids and pumps the waste out but also as you can see it comes with an outdoor shower and over here on the bottom right we've got the city water so this will pull out to hook up for your city water and you push the button to reel it in. Makes life a lot easier when you're hooking up at those campgrounds and resorts out there. Oh. This compartment here, we've got your 50 amp. Not only 50 amp, it's also 50 feet. So this will reach most pedestals out there. Um, Sometimes you'll see some shorter 25, 30 foot, 50 amp cords. It's nice that Newmar gives you that nice big, uh, bigger, larger uh, 50 amp power cord there. And here you have uh, cable hookups, campground cable hookups. And then this box here is your transfer switch. And this, this bad boy right here is your Oasis, it's putting out some good heat right now. And also something else that's convenient, you've got the little switch here. So when you pull your power cord out and you're hooking it up, push the button here to reel it back in. And on cold days, it makes life a lot easier instead of having to coil that big heavy 50 amp cord up. <clears throat> on the back end here, so the tires all the way around, these are 315, 80, um, 22 and a half tires. Um, you do have, the rear axle is a 24,000 pound rear axle um, i mentioned the front axle is an independent front suspension it's also got a 16,000 pound rating what does that provide for the end user well you've got you've got close to 5,500 pounds of cargo carrying capacity on this coach before you're getting to the actual gross vehicle weight rating the, the gvwr on this coach is going to be at 40,000 pounds um, you can have as much as 50,000 pounds gross combined weight rating, so you could tow up to 10,000 pounds behind this coach, just with, with, your, with your load. So just something I wanted to point out. All right, coming to this bay here, <clears throat> we've got the DEF fuel. The blue cap there is going to be your 10-gallon diesel exhaust fuel location. And then this compartment to its left here, just a nice little outdoor storage for your hoses your gloves your chemicals things you want to keep that are maybe associated with the water bay there and it does have a little drain in the bottom as well with the dutch star 450 horsepower you're gonna get a side radiator and a new for 2023 uh, they did integrate you got a new rear cap as well as a new front cap um, and if you notice on the back end here, you've got two cameras. So you've got your backup camera, and then this came with the optional 360 camera view. So it gives you kind of a bird's eye, bird's eye view on the 10 inch monitors inside the coach. Um, having the side radiator, it's gonna give you a nice little access to the engine components. <clears throat> Your oil, your fuel filter is easy to access, as well as the fuel, um, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, your fuel filter, and then the your engine oil and the transmission are going to be easy to access. The power fluid, uh, power steering fluid, is easy to access with having the side radiator. Also, something to point out with Freightliner um, down below here, they do come equipped with brake sync, so it has its own separate. Um, brake sync system there so that if you have a 
air brake on your tow vehicle, it already has its own ping tank for, for the tow vehicle. <clears throat> and then this little reservoir here is going to be for the hydronic fluid. So that's where your glycol goes for the Oasis hydronic fluid. All right, coming down the line here, we've got the engine batteries battery disconnect so these are your cranking batteries on the engine this is just a quick disconnect a little wiring harness tied into the chassis and no waste of space so you've got some additional storage there as well if you back up a little bit Jody um, I've got these awnings out so they do come standard with one Gerard G2000 awning that comes straight out unless we option the, the dual Nova side awning in lieu of standard uh, feature on the on the order form. So this has nice two nice big awnings give you a pitch down right at the middle uh, and there are LED lights that run all the way down the length of this awning that gives you some nice lighting at night. Come down to this compartment this, this is like a three-quarter pass-through storage area um, you can see some loose items here it does come with some additional tile and you have this this is your central vacuum hose kit um, the additional tile if you ever drop anything on these tile it is real porcelain tile floor um, should you crack something you need some replacement tiles that's why they are chipped um, with the extra ones and then you have the actual the inner vac um, for your filter changing your filter out on the vacuum also for your hose attachments goes there as well Outside entertainment. So this one has, so we do have a slide out right here that's in at the moment. So that's why this door does not come all the way up yet. Um, it's a two stage door. So I'm gonna bring it all the way up. The deal with that is you just need to remember before you go running the slide out, to lower this back down. So we do have an outside entertainment. You got a 43 inch LED Samsung TV with a Bose speaker bar and that will tilt get the glare out the television <clears throat> and you can actually Bluetooth to this Bose speaker if you wanted to play your own music outdoors you can and you can see on the bottom right we've got some U some USB ports as well as 110 outlets down below getting to the storage compartments I've got a full pass-through storage here except it does when I say pass-through it does go all the way across However, the, the Oasis Hydronic Heat is going to be across on the left side there, but you can, the door opens all the way through on the right there. And this, this tray here, um, you've got a thousand pounds to load in this tray, a little slide out tray there. And then some of your, um, just to point out some things down below here, your, there's two white panels. Um, if you don't have the remote control for your Gerard awnings, those are the two controls for that. Um, so you can actually run the awnings in and out from those controllers. And then also up in here, you've got some more control panels for your slide out controls. It's also for your cable HDMI hookups um, located up underneath here. And then right here, we've got a prep. Right here, you can see we've got a 12 volt outlet an electrical outlet. So if you wanted to add an outside refrigerator freezer combo on a slide tray, it is prepped for that. However, this gives you some nice storage without it there. Okay, and then you got the other side of the fuel fill on the 100 gallon fuel tank. Let me go inside and take a look. Um, as we're going in, you'll notice we've got the uh, keyless entry uh, so you can program your own entrance key for opening, for unlocking and locking the entrance door, as well as unlocking and locking all your compartment doors. And then as we're going in here, you'll notice these little the steps have little covers on them for storage. They really do a nice job giving you some extra, extra storage. Good place to put your flip flops, your tools 
toolbox, a little small umbrella, maps, anything like that. And then above it, as you're coming in, I'm, I'm gonna run it out. But right here at the entrance, you've got a step cover. And it comes all the way up flush there. Okay. Come on in. We'll, uh, let's go over some of the some of the dash features here. So this particular Dutch Star came equipped with um, with the on guard collision system by Freightliner. So what does that give you? Um, on guard is going to give you adaptive cruise as well as collision mitigation. Um, so when I turn this on. I'll kind of walk you through here. We'll go on to the dash cluster here, but uh, they make it um, you make it simple for the driver. So a lot of your features work like a almost like an iPhone or an Android Auto. So you've got your controls over here are going to be controlling your your dash gauges here. Um, right now <clears throat> I'm on the menu here, and you can see I can scroll through the steering effort if I want to go into my steering effort. That's your, that's your comfort drive by Numar. I can roll that up and down. So what does that do for you? So in, in stronger side winds, if you're driving in Wyoming or you're driving in Kansas and you're getting some really strong winds, you can turn that setting up and the steering wheel will actually, it just, it, it's monitoring how you're driving about every 20 seconds. If you're constantly fighting a strong side wind, it fights it for you. So it cuts back on fatigue on long road trips. Um, it also will, it, it makes the steering effort, if it's a nice calm day like today, and I wanna just have it down in a lower setting here, that does make it easier to steer. A real light, um, less resistance on the steering wheel when you're driving it. Um, and then you've got your back button here to get back to the gauges here. Um, you can see how simple it is. I can go into my fuel economy and see what kind of fuel fuel uh, miles per gallon I'm getting, how many miles I've got to empty. And I can go back to the mobile eye. Mobile eye, I can um, I can go into the headway warning distance and put it at near, medium, or far. I can go in, into the intelligent high beams. Uh, that's something new um, for for 2023. Newmar is integrating the silver light. I believe that's the terminology. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's um, the high beams, the, the lights are different this year. They're much more brighter. But if you go into that system, you can enable or disable the intelligent high beams so they automatically go bright when it senses there's no vehicles in front of you. Uh, lane departure warning, disabled, low sensibility, high sens sensitivity, excuse me. Um, and then you've got your speed limit indicator and alert at five miles per hour or 10 miles per hour alert, and you're, or you can just disable it altogether. So it really makes it easier wa walking you right through that system. Another thing <clears throat> that I like this button right here next to the home button, you can push the home, this it's called your favorites button. So if I push my favorites button, you'll notice it goes directly to steering effort. So that's what it's preset for. However, if I own this coach and let's say I'm, I want to keep an eye on my, my tire pressure. Okay. So I can now, if I hold this favorites button down for five seconds, you'll see on there, it says, now it says favorites set. So now every time I go into, um, if I'm in any, 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 uh, different feature here, I can click the favorites button and it takes me right to my tire pressure. So what are system you want to constantly see in your favorites position there? That's a cool feature that Freightliner has integrated into the steering wheel um, for the owner. Um, I do have a question if you've got some. Sure, absolutely. The question is, Danny wants to know what is the wheelbase on this unit? Wheelbase, that's a great question. Um, if you, at the end of this video, I'll provide you my email address and I will look this up and get that to you. I cannot remember off the top of my head, but I'd have to look it up. Um, if you go to, if you do go to Freightliner, um, fccc.com, um, they do have their, 
specs on that website, but that's a good question. I'll, I'll certainly have to get back to you. Um, so yeah, so um, also if you notice, it's all color to color screen dash clusters, so it makes makes it easy to see. Um, you can easily see that I've got full tank of diesel fuel, full tank of def fuel down below there. Um, it reads distance to empty in the bottom. Those are just those are nice features you, you like to see in your own automobile that they've integrated in, into the motorhome industry. Um, on the right hand side of the steering wheel here is going to be um, controls for your phone. If you uh, if you Bluetooth your phone through the radio, you can answer and hang up using the buttons here. Um, also, you've got the cruise control on and off right here. And then you can turn the city horn and the air horn off and on using this button there. And the set and resume control, cruise control buttons are going to be here. And this bottom right button is going to be a little courtesy flasher light. Uh, if a truck driver were to let you over, you can do your courtesy flashers there. Uh, over here on the monitors here, we've got some nice big um, monitors that are all color. Um, if I go into my menu here. You can see the different features. You got the radio, the media center, my Bluetooth, HDMI navigation, camera controls, mobile eye setup. Uh, right now it's on radio, as you can see it timed out and went right back to the stereo system there. But it does have a button here. If I don't go right to navigation, um, Numar equips these with Nav and Go GPS. Um, the, it does have automatic updates, so you don't have to remove it, remove any type of a um, memory card to put into your computer to update the maps and it does have auto updates um, over here on the right side we've got the backup camera as you can see that's what we're looking at now if I do go into my camera control I can click on the 360 and there's the 360 camera view you can see um, there's different views if I want to if I want let me go back to that so Right now it's seeing the bird's eye view plus the, the rear, the hatch is open right now. <clears throat> but uh, if I want to just view the front or the sides of the coach, you can do that as well. What kind of a cool feature that is a, that's, this one comes with. And uh, yeah, so great question, Danny. I'll have to get back with you. Um, feel free to, to uh, Give me a call or email me. Like I said, I'll point that out at the end of the video. Um, all right, so let's switch spots here, Jody. So I know we were, we were coming in, and I wanted to just just stay right there. So, so if I own this coach and I need to get back to the back with the slides in, you can see how easy it is to to navigate through. Yes, it is a little tight, uh, but you can still get through. If I need to access the bathroom. I've got an inverted door so I can get into this bathroom um, or if I need to get into the refrigerator I can still open and close it. I guess it would be since it's right across from the bath probably be easier to just walk step back in here to access the refrigerator if I'm grabbing a soft drink or something out of the refrigerator. Just something to point out but uh, but no yeah it's a gorgeous coach. I love the colors of this one um, I didn't talk about the exterior paint job on this, but I'll go ahead and mention it now. So this does have um, the exterior graphics is called Bayshore. Bayshore exterior graphics and the interior of this is Bayshore interior uh, decor. Um, the wood choice on this is the driftwood glazed maple. Looks awesome with these with with the furniture that's selected on this and um, it's a matte finish. If you notice too on the floor, the flooring so this was special ordered with King Air floor. Uh, so King Air is our top of the line Numar product. Um, gives it kind of that wood look instead of going with the standard Dutch Star tile. Dutch Star tile, it really goes well with all the interior colors that have been chosen on this this coach here. I'm gonna come up front and run the slides out. <clears throat> Let's see how much room that gives you. I'm going to start it up because it says we're running low voltage. So I'm going to go ahead and crank that up. So this is a hydraulic slide going out. 
So it's going to go out and 90 degrees down. You'll see it set completely down once it goes all the way out. And this did get ordered as you're, as you're uh, seeing the tile floor. This did get ordered with the heated tile floor. So it has electric heat strips below the tile running from front to back. So it has, uh, I talked about the Oasis hydronic heat source. That'll keep it nice and warm in the winter time when it's below freezing. The, the heated floors actually work really well too. You hardly ever use, have to use the uh, hydronic heat if you're using your heated tile all the time. But a third heated option, your two 15,000 BTU air conditioners in the rooftop uh, do come equipped with heat pumps. On a day like today, um, we could turn on these heat pumps and take the chill out of the air in here. It's supposed to get up to like 40 degrees today. Uh, but really nice look. This is a new look for 2023. Uh, the ceiling plenum, um, your, the slide fascias, that's all a new look too as well. you notice over behind the sofa here, we've got that, little, that lid. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise this. Actually, before I raise that up, let's see if I'm still connected. So new for, new for 2023 also, we've got the Connected Solutions app. So if I wanna pair my mobile device to the Connected Solutions, which when we get to the back, you'll see the, cent the center located panel. You can operate your fans, your floor heat, your automatic gen generator controls, your lights, your HVAC. Right now I'm gonna go into motors. It says TV lift. I'm gonna push TV lift up. And then there, there goes my TV. So it's kind of neat. You've got um, a lot of your, a lot of your features are in, in the in your palm there, in your hand. And you can check on your tank. So I can see I've got fresh water, gray water, black water is all empty, or wherever they're at. So it's got just some neat features that, that your mobile device has, that when you can Bluetooth it to the Connected Solutions feature that Numar is offering now. Um, up front here, let's switch spots with you, Joey. Or actually, I can just talk to you from right here. So just something to point out, <clears throat> this does have, um, so it has up top left there, that big Wi-Fi Ranger. Um, that's the Aspen router. So this got equipped uh, with the um, Everest um, Wi-Fi antenna with the Aspen router. Um, so this, you can have a private network for, uh, for the coach for all your wireless devices, your computers, your, your mobile phones, and all your TVs are actually um, smart TVs. So uh, it does come with Wi-Fi. Um, you'll notice the little black device here. You've got, this is Direct TV, or excuse me, uh, let me double check here. Uh, you've got WineGuard SK100 Auto, Di so this has the Dish Network High Definition Satellite Dish on board. And uh, over on the right side here, we've got your over the air antenna some security light controls, uh, step controls, and then the bottom right here, um, the entrance awning, you've got an awning that goes in and out over the door, slide controls, your burn, I've got the burner on right now, that's what's providing heat for the coach, your power control system, your center, center monitor control panel is gonna be here. Right now, it's saying no service because I don't have the generator on at the moment and we're not plugged in. Um, we're just running strictly off the inverter right now. So you can see I've got system here inverting. And then it, uh, this has the four, uh, I believe it's four 100 watt sun-free solar panels. So that white panel here, this is the control panel for that. Uh, this coach does have solar. And then this is your Gerard controls for the awnings outside. <clears throat> Coming around to the back, we've got uh, the optional opposing door side uh, swivel rocker recliner chairs. Uh, behind the wall there, you can kind of see some um, multiplex light panels. Um, one of those is gonna be for your overhead lights above each chair. The other one's gonna be for your TV lift up and down. So you can run the TV up and down from there or from your mobile device. Um, we've got the standard dinette uh, it's got two freestanding chairs, plus you've got two folding chairs in the back 
to join the table and this will pull out it gives you some, uh, some a leaf to put here to make this a little bit larger in this area <clears throat> so I noticed that this one got ordered with the MCD shades so all your day and night shades throughout the coach are going to be controlled from a remote control so I can raise and lower all my shades individually or I can do them all at the same time. There's, a, there's your night shades here. And then you're gonna have a separate controller for the bedroom as well. So the back room has its own remote control for the rear bedroom as well as a separate controller for the front. Uh, in the kitchen area here, this looks awesome. If you come around this side, so new for 2023, you've got you've got new hardware. You notice kind of this um, gunmetal look, gunmetal look to the sink. Got a nice big double sink, barn sink look. Looks great with these colors, light countertops. This is all solid Corian countertops. So the slide room goes over the top. You can kind of see where it's cut out here. So that'll stop right about here. So you can still, if you're on the road, access part of the sink while you're with the slide in. And then I'll show you some of the overhead. So you've got some pullouts here for storage with an adjustable shelf above here. Another pull out. Got three nice big pull outs here. And then down below, we've got, uh, well, pull these out first here. So we've got some nice big drawers for the kitchen area, all your silverware, dish rags, pots and pans. Over here, we got a nice big drawer here. There's all the fun remotes come for each TV, MCD roller shades, and a couple of keyless entry locks that come with the coach for locking and unlocking your entrance door and compartment doors. Let's make sure of touch up paint. Again, full extension drawer glides. If you notice as I'm closing each drawer, you got the soft close on each drawer. And we do have some additional storage under the sink. We'll pull out here. And actually on the side, if you go around this side, these open up here. So you do have a little dedicated place for your trash can and you have a dedicated place for your um, sink covers get those out of the way all right come over this side we've got a 50 inch smart TV all the way up front we've got a 43 inch optional 43 inch smart TV so it's not lacking on TVs. <laughs> we mentioned the one outside. We've got two in the living area here. Um, you also have the Bose soundbar. It has a great sound system uh, that comes with it for entertaining. And then uh, they, they come equipped with little HDMI ports. They label them for you. You can use this one for the Blu-ray DVD player. You can use this one for your satellite receiver. So they're already pre-wired for it to the television for adding those components. And of course, you've got good storage overhead. Um, something I always like to point out, you can kind of see this voided area. That's not really, it's, that's insulation. So what Numar does is they will provide as much insulation in the slide headers as they do from the ceiling to rooftop. So there's no, it's not lacking on insulation. If it doesn't work, the air is as hard in the summertime, won't work the furnace as hard in the wintertime. And if it starts pouring down rain outside and you're watching a ball game or watching a movie, you're not having to crank the volume up on the TV so you can hear your program. Really nice feature that Numar does on insulating these coaches. All right, coming around to the back, um, we've got the residential refrigerator. And nice size. It's nice and deep, about 18 and a half cubic feet of, of uh, 
refrigerator storage. Little pull out freezer shelf. There's ice bucket below here. It does have an ice maker and water dispenser here. And then you, you do have, um, actually, if you back up a little bit, um, I may have missed this part. I'm just eyeballing over here, and I noticed that I failed to mention the induction, induction cooktop. So you do have the true induction cooktop by Numar and it is removable so if you notice it's plugged in here makes it easier for cleanup and then just sets right back in here on the flip side of these corian coverts you've got some cutting boards and then we have the optional kitchen window it gives you some nice lighting it's not lacking on windows, all dual paned windows throughout. And then you've got right above the induction cooktop, we've got the convection microwave oven. And then again, a little bit of extra storage place, put your spices overhead if you'd like. Great place for pans. You've got some little flat pans. That goes pretty deep in there, right up above the refrigerator here. And then on the pantry storage, yep. if you notice how I open that, so on all these, if I pull on that, it's not coming out, but I got to push to release on all these pantry pull-out drawers. That way when this thing's closed, your food doesn't come flying out if you take a hard right. So that's pretty smart and new Marty. Put those in. And right here, we've got some more storage. Just some permanently installed shelving there for extra storage. I'm going to go ahead and run these slides out. So this is the third hydraulic slide going out. And then we've got the electric Numar slide for the bed. So this is running a cog slide. It's a little bit slower, but very dependable. Um, you got a steel rod running the length of the slide with a cog wheel underneath, which is your gears to run the slide all the way out and all the way in. As that's going out, I'll go ahead and uh, point out this is where the connected solutions is at. So if I go into my Bluetooth, this is where you can pair your mobile devices. But when I was showing you earlier, um, let's see here. I was showing you earlier on my my phone you can kind of see all the different features that are on this panel here also on the mobile device but you don't have to have your mobile device you can just simply go into each system it kind of walks you through it to operate all your lights your hvac your floor heat your different fans all those different items or just keep an eye on your batteries um, things like that uh, the bathroom let's see here this door is going to be opens inverted door here so i showed you earlier so that way you're not opening it out onto the refrigerator here and you can still get in here while the slides are in but you do have a pretty good sized bathroom here i'm gonna step in this shower so i'm 6'2 i've got plenty of headroom plenty of elbow room little sliding glass door here um it does have these all all the Dutch stars are going to come with the <clears throat> the Aqua View uh, water saver, if you will. So this this little feature here will recycle recirculate your water until it gets hot, and it it'll it, you got an indicator light here letting you know when it's warm, when you can flip this panel so you have hot water. Um, you have the uh, this is your adjustable shower feature there with the handheld shower nozzle there and then in the in the bathroom area here you'll notice lots of storage down below we've got some pull out drawers medicine cabinet and then we've got a little escape door so this will open up so this opens up here let me raise my shade oops it's a night shade so this panel right here, below the handle, 
this comes off you notice we got a little oops I'm sorry we got a little um, retractable ladder so peace of mind if you ever need to get out of this coach and you're blocked by the entrance at the front you can still get out here and that just simply closes back and you can lock it okay Okay, so coming to the back, we've got um, the wardrobe slide, good storage overhead, similar to the living room. Um, you've got, it's pre-wired overhead for satellite, for Blu-ray players, game systems, anything you want to put in this compartment, dedicated to the Samsung, it's a 43 inch Samsung LED smart TV here. And then down below, this is great storage here. Some nice deep drawers for wardrobe storage. There's a black Bible, the book for all, all the owner's manuals. And then down below here, we got three more nice deep drawers as well. Over this side, we've got the optional stackable washer and dryer. Love the way they do this door. I mean, it just it opens and closes, folds properly. The slide still has to come in, so nicely done. Um, I've got the latch now, but there is a little latch here that keeps this nice and tight. You do have some positive latches in right here when you close these off. But to access the closet, we've got, um, if you come around on the side here, this particular floor plan, um, the house breaker is located here as well as your fuses. Everything's labeled here for you, but that is easy to access. You're not having to crawl up under a bed. I'm just standing at eye level, it's easy to get to. And then the, the multiplex lighting, the brains for that is gonna be all located back here as well. Well, that's, that, this gives you a couple of electrical outlets down below as well as some storage and then this panel that lifts up is access to the plumbing on the back side of the washer and dryer washer should I say and dryer location and then over here it's just more storage got all this hanging storage it's a great lighting We got a king size bed. It's a 37 feet, 37 feet 11 inches overall length. King size bed. With all your overhead storage. Open these up here. You notice there's an electrical plug in here. If you got any kind of sleeping machines you want to put overhead? There's little access points on both sides of the bed to run your hoses and lines out the bottom here. And also above your head, you've got some multiplex lighter lights for the bedroom area um, and your reading lights. Reading lights are there, accent lights are there, ceiling lights, and also your driver and passenger side security lights are located there as well. Look under the bed here, we've got some great storage. I mentioned to you earlier with, at the freestanding table and chairs that it does come with a couple of folding chairs. Here's the two folding chairs as well as the additional leaf. And then, nice big pocket door with a big full size mirror. Nice touch there. So, <clears throat> I think we've covered most of the things that I can think of on this coach. There's a few things that I may have missed here. <clears throat> um, holding tanks. We got 105 gallons of fresh water. 75 gallons of gray water, 55 gallons of black water. <coughs> Excuse me. 100 gallons of fuel, 10 ga or, and then 10 gallons of your diesel exhaust fluid. Um, trying to think if there's anything I I missed on this coach. Uh, we talked about the King Air floors, a couple of specials. 
Yeah, I think we've covered most of what I can think of on this particular coach. Um, feel free to reach out anytime if there's any other product that I can answer questions on this particular motorhome. You can reach me um, at the bottom of the screen there will be my cell phone number. You can reach me best there at 720-539-4711. Um, or feel free to email me anytime. You can email me at grussell at transwest.com. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next time. Happy camping. Bye-bye.